Hello. Today, I'm going to talk about death. No, 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 I'm not going to talk about death. Uh, the opposite. I'm going to talk about life and things that we want to do in our life. I think the problem for everybody is we get very busy and you spend every day doing the busy work that all life you have to do, schoolwork, working in the office, looking after the family, and we get busy. And it's easy to spend your life being busy doing the same things again and again and again which is okay. But every now and then, it's nice to step back and imagine what, what important things do I want to do in my life, or in our lives, or for our children, or for um, boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands, wives, etc. So, one of these thoughts is, uh, often we have a list, and this is called a bucket list. Like, imagine a bucket, with putting stuff in. And this is the things you want to do before you die. And you could have 10 things you want to do, or 100 things, or three things, or one thing. Um, and it's maybe, maybe impossible, but it's sometimes good to think about. At least, you know, well, there's one thing I really want to do before I die, whatever. And if you think like that, then maybe you'll be able to do these great things. This lesson is really just some examples. These are some suggestions of things to do. But of course, we are all different. And I'm sure you have some things that you might want to do. So we'll talk about that when I see you. But here are some examples. This is taken from Forbes magazine, which is a magazine for investors and rich people. So the idea is you save up money so that you can do some of these things. Let's have a look. These are just suggestions. I, I don't know if I want to do these things, but anyway. Okay, so I've got 10 things to do. 10 things to do before you die. Number one, make a pilgrimage. A pilgrimage is like taking a trip to somewhere special, usually for religious purposes. It could be if you're, if you're a Christian going to, um, uh, I don't know, Bethlehem or Jerusalem or something. Uh, if you're Muslim, go to Mecca. If you're Buddhist, I don't know maybe the different sites around Japan. Or it doesn't have to be religious. It could just be something somewhere special that's hard to get to. Like it says here, African savanna or Amazonian rainforest. Somewhere difficult to get to. So that's one, make a pilgrimage. Okay, number two, eat a meal good enough to be your last. We are often eating any old junk just to keep energy levels high. Um, but this one is uh, the idea that you could have a really fantastic meal so that if you ever died, you could say, well, I had a great meal. <laughs> uh, number three, climb your own mountain. Have you ever climbed a mountain? Um, I think the idea is to, is to go somewhere that's difficult. Again, again, a little bit like a pilgrimage. It says here, the point is to climb something you were afraid to climb and to see something new. Hmm. Okay, number four, memorize a poem and pass it on. Poem, poetry. Yeah, I think I did that in school. But uh, yes, so pass on a poem to somebody is much better than a uh, birthday card. Okay, number five is an interesting one. Make an enemy for life. I don't usually think about making an enemy, but stand up to a bully. So somebody that's being nasty to you, you can fight back. Speak out against fraud, uh, cheating. Uh, fight off a rival for a prize. An enemy helps you define yourself. So if there's somebody you really hate, like, I hate Trump. Okay. Fight off somebody like Trump. And then that will help define you. will tell you who you are by who you are not. Number six is the opposite. Forgive someone. Don't make an enemy. Forgive them. <laughs> Say, it's okay. Yeah. Hmm. These are kind of strange, strange things here. Okay, number seven, see for yourself that the earth is round. And it says here, the one way you can do that is to get on a sailing ship and sail all the way around the earth and come back to where you started. Therefore, you can prove the world is round. Or you could get on an aeroplane or go on a rocket or... There are many ways to prove the world is round. Uh, I don't know, that's not, not, not one for me, I don't think. Number eight, take someone you love to see wonderful art. 
Yeah, sure. Um, I like to do that. Um, there are some great art museums in Wenham. So take somebody you love to see amazing historic art. Maybe it will change your life. Uh, number nine, defy gravity. <laughs> defy means fight against. Gravity is, you know, you fall down. In other words, jump out of an airplane, parasail. Wow. Or oh, go on a bungee jump, bungee cord. No, oh, thank you. Not for me. I don't need to do that. But you might want to. And then number 10, let someone else have the chance you missed. You never know. Life moves quickly and you may be too old to go bungee jumping, but maybe you can give some money to a younger person to enjoy life and do things that you weren't able to do. These are only suggestions. <laughs> okay, I got, uh, oh, God, I got a spelling mistake. Questions. Is that right? Oops, questions. Okay, three questions here. Let's zoom in, it's a bit small, isn't it? Okay, number one, which of these have you already done? Which have you not done yet? Any of these you have done? I've done one or two, not many. Number two, what would be your top 10 list of things to do while you are alive? Yeah, what's your top 10 things to do? And number three, is there anything you regret doing in your life? Uh, I'm sure there are. The longer you live, the more regrets you have, but hopefully nothing too serious. As long as there's time to uh, improve. Okay, there you go. You can choose a question there and we'll chat about it when I see you next. Thank you very much.